What's up, YouTube? It's you guys, the Hot Shot Hot Wires, back at it again with a banger. We hope you enjoy our video on trash in space. I will be talking about trash and waste in space today. So what happens to trash in space? Mostly the trash that astronauts generate is food packets. What they do, they take all of the packets and put them in a pressurized bag and they store them on, their, on the ISS until a supply capsule comes, such as the Cygnus, because they are designed to burn up in the atmosphere. When the capsule comes, it stays long enough for the astronauts to take the supplies out, then all of the, then all the trash is put inside the capsule. The capsule is then aimed at a remote place such as the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and then it burns up in the atmosphere. And that's the end of all the trash. What scientists are trying to do in the future are making radiation shields from garbage. One of the side effects from coming back on from coming back from space are, is radiation. So if scientists can make radiation shields, then astronauts won't suffer from brain damage. A trash compactor is going to melt the and it's going to melt the garbage and make an eight-inch diameter tile. Then, they will be stored on the spacecraft and put up. Scientists are trying to turn raw plastic in, in the garbage to material for 3D printing. They're also trying to make a machine that turns plastic into utensils. They've also made an arm that's like a gecko's hand. Gecko's hands are sticky, so they, so they have a grip. The only drawback was that they had to make a robot that could withstand the extreme temperatures of space. How do you go to the bathroom on the ISS? We have to go number one, there's a long hose with a vacuum. And you have to go number two, there's a special toilet which has a fan that makes suction. So the waste goes in a bag and that's put into a waste can. The waste can is then replaced every 10 days or so. Then what happens to the, to the waste in space? The urine is recycled in the filter system. The same water is recycled every day. The filter system is so advanced that people in space drink cleaner water than on Earth. The feces is jettisoned out of the space station into the deep vacuum of space. What scientists are trying to do in the future? So they're trying to make fuel out of feces. So far, they've made some kind of tar-like rubbery substance. And if they can make fuel out of feces, that will be very helpful during long-duration space missions because then they will have unlimited fuel. They're planning to make radiation shields from feces too. How they take a shower in space. So astronauts just take a sponge bath in space. The simplest way, it's cost efficient and it's easy. They have a pressurized bottle that's connected to a shower head with a button. They have little soap pouches that they squeeze the, sh the soap out of. Then they press the button and water comes out. A vacuum sucks the water and soap off. The water goes through the filter system and gets reused. Did you know that some shooting stars are really astronaut poop falling from space because they're jettisoned out of the base station? Think about that next time you should wish on a shooting star. <laughs> and did you also know that there are about 500,000 pieces of space debris floating around Earth, moving at speed at fast as fast as 17,500 miles per hour? And also, this might sound very weird, but a tiny speck of paint can kill an astronaut during a spacewalk. Hmm. Absurd, right? There is so much space debris that in a few centuries will be trapped on Earth. And space debris includes Lego figures, pizza, and even vegetables. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, it's really weird, right? Yeah. So thank you for watching. These are the sources that we use for this presentation. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. Please slam a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as hard as you can.